Here's something interesting. It says Big Pharma boss caught faking his COVID vaccination status injected himself with salt water instead, now facing criminal charges. Does this surprise anybody? Because it certainly doesn't surprise me. And they come out with this stuff. They come out with this stuff like this, and you will see that the people who are gung-ho about it and for it are either going to ignore it, or if they have to face it, they're just going to make excuses. They're never going to face up to the fact. And it's like, just like it says in the Bible, people have ears but they can't hear, have eyes but they can't see, and they don't want to see it. It says, while the WHO and our political leaders want us to trust in the COVID vaccines and push for legal measures to force it upon us, it seems even big pharma executives don't even trust the safety. Okay? Police have charged Jose Maria Fernandez Salsafera, and forgive my Spanish because it's non-existent, the president of European pharmaceutical behemoth Pharma Mar, with being falsely vaccinated against COVID-19, Dr. Salsafero is embroiled in a European controversy involving individuals, many of whom are well-known figures being added to the National Immunization Registry in exchange for large sums of money. But of course, this is only happening in Europe. It would never happen here in the United States or anywhere else, right? <laughs> um, it says, according to police sources in El Periodico de Espina, Salsafero arranged to be injected with a saline solution instead of a COVID-19 vaccination and spent hundreds of euros to have his name added to Spain's immunization register. Dr. Salso, or Dr. Salsafero is one of almost 2,200 celebrities and European elites who have been erroneously vaccinated against COVID, according to a list compiled by national police. Uh, let me skip down here. I'll put a link in the description if you want to read this for yourself. It says, according to El Mundo, Spanish police carried out the investigation called Operation Jenner, which uncovered the vast network of celebrities and elites who have paid money to have their names fraudulently entered on the National Immunization Register despite refusing to be vaccinated. Euro Weekly News report the leader of the network was a nursing assistant at the La Paz University Hospital where he is accused of ch charging more than 200,000 euros for fraudulently registering 2,200 people as vaccinated in the National Registry against COVID-19. He has been arrested and is currently in custody. Among those accused are Bruno Gonzalez Cabrera, a defender who played for Betis Gaddafi. I'm not going to say these words. Um, something about Veach volleyball runner-up in Europe and fifth in the Sydney Olympic Games, the former Valencian boxer, wrestler Jose Zapater, alias Titan, who started more than a thousand fights. The famous people investigated so far includes, it has these names, um, one of the richest men in Spain, Kid Keo. Um, trap singer in English and Spanish, a rap singer, another rap singer, actress, soccer player, um, former beach volleyball Olympian, and so on. According to the police <clears throat> who are investigating the 2200 false COVID-19 vaccination certificates, the fee was dependent on the, your social standing. The more important you were, the higher the price. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put a link in the description like I said you can uh, read this for yourself but I thought this was interesting because it's it's out there it's out there anybody can see this and know it's going on but we'll we'll hear the defense of it I'm sure as always put your faith and trust in Jesus repent of your sins and have a blessed day